was going to the University of Utah, he had just come home from being in the military. And he said all his girlfriends were gone. I mean, they were all married and pregnant and everything. <laughs> so he had to start a new collection. <laughs> and so he came over to me one day when we were sitting in the lunchroom. He came over and I noticed he was talking to a lot of the girls and I wondered what in the heck is he coming over here to me for? <laughs> and he had this clipboard and he said, can I ask you a few questions about how you feel about the lunchroom? I said, well, sure. I guess so. He asked me if I liked the conditions down there and if I thought that was a good thing. Uh, was it warm enough? Was there enough people? Uh, are the chairs good enough? I mean, he went on and on and on to the bottom of the list and he said, okay, uh, now I need to have your name and your phone number. And I thought, oh no you don't. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I said, no, I'd rather not give you my name or my phone number. Uh, my name is Colleen, that's all you need to know. And he said, well, okay. So he went on to the next girl and the next girl and the next girl. Well, I didn't see him for a while, for several weeks. Then one day I was going into the library and he was coming out the door. So there were two doors and we just met. I thought, oh no, here he is again. Uh, so I thought, well, I better say something to him. I, can't just... I said, well, how did the survey go? He said, well, I would have called you, but you wouldn't give me your name, your number. I, can't, I couldn't do anything about it. So I didn't tell you about the survey, but I told all these other people. I said, well, I just, I, I didn't know who you were, and I, I just don't like to give people out my name and number. He said, well, um, you could do it now. And I said, okay. He said, I've got my clipboard here. I'm ready. And I said, I'm Colleen Farr. I said, okay, I'll go back over my notes and then I'll call you. And I said, oh, okay, fine. So I do. We both went our ways. Oh, a little while after that, he, he called me. And we talked about the survey. And he said, well, you know, would you like to go out with me? Um, I thought, oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> He said, how about Saturday night? And he said, I've got two other friends and we're gonna go, well, triple date. I thought, oh, oh, okay, we can do that, all right. So we went out on this date and I had already been to that movie the night before with another guy. <laughs> it was Brigadoon and I sat there by him and I thought, he, he doesn't even act like he wants to hold my hand in this movie. We went in to my house, and he left me on the porch, and we went, I went into the house, and that was that. I thought, okay, good. Because I had other guys I kind of liked anyway. And then I started thinking really hard. I thought, oh, this other guy is going to go to the Air Force. He's going to be gone. I don't like him that much anyway. He doesn't really know how to drive a car very well. <laughs> he got us stuck in some snow one day. Well, then there was um, this other guy that I thought, oh, he was so great. And then I found out he wasn't great at all. He smoked and drank, and I thought, oh, I don't want to get mixed up with this. I don't, I want to marry a guy who's and I thought, well, this guy's been on a mission. He's been in the service. He's, you know, I haven't treated him wonderful, but <laughs> I think, I think I'll, you know, kind of like him, maybe. And so we dated a lot pretty soon. That's the end.